Good morning and welcome to Grace Church Cathedral. This is morning prayer for the 23rd of May, Thursday. Morning prayer begins on page 79. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. <clears throat> Let us confess our sins against God and our redeemer. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are the peace of our and we have hungered the king. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, and for mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Mighty God, have mercy on you, give you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And thou shalt proclaim your praise. Glory praise to the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the beginning, and so now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, Come, let us adore you. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today he would hearken to his voice. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us enjoy. Psalm appointed for today is Psalm 18, verses 1 through 20. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my stronghold, my crag and my haven. My God, my rock in whom I put my trust, my shield, the horn of my salvation and my refuge. You are worthy of praise. I will call upon the Lord, and so shall I be saved from my enemies. The breakers of death rolled over me, and the torrents of oblivion made me afraid. The cords of hell entangled me, and the snares of death were set for me. I called upon the Lord in my distress and cried out to my God for help. He heard my voice from his heavenly dwelling. My cry of anguish came to his ears. The earth reeled and rocked. The roots of the mountains shook. They reeled because of his anger. Smoke rose from his nostrils and a consuming fire out of his mouth. Hot burning coals blazed forth from him. He parted the heavens and came down with a storm cloud under his feet. He mounted on the cherubim and flew. He swooped on the wings of the wind. He wrapped darkness about him. He made dark waters and thick clouds as pavilion. From the brightness of his presence through the clouds, burst hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord thundered out of heaven. The Most High uttered his voice. He loosed <clears> and <throat> arrowed and scattered them. He hurled thunderbolts and rattled them. The beds of the seas were uncovered, and the foundations of the world laid bare. At your battle cry, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. He reached down from on high and grasped me. He drew me out of great waters. He delivered me from my strong enemies and from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into an open place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. Glory to the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus declared, I thank thee, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hidden these things from the wise and understanding, and revealed them to babes, Yea, Father, for such was thy gracious will. All things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, 
and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to you. Antiquity 19. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages, who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name. For you only are the holy one. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy words send me with you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life that lasts. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory, forever and ever. Save your people, Lord, and bless your endurance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in them. Mighty and merciful God, in your goodness, keep us, we pray, from all things that may hurt us. That we, being ready both in mind and body, may accomplish with free hearts those things which belong to your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, we pray for your church, that treasuring our rich inheritance, we would be inspired to witness in our own day that all that we have received from our forebears in faith. Creator God, we thank you for the glory of all you could be, and for the skill that has led people through all the centuries to fashion things of beauty as songs of praise and stone. As we give you thanks for the inspiration that countless pilgrims and visitors have found in this church, open our eyes again, we pray, that renewed in our own wonder for all those around us, we may praise you in worship in speaking words of gentleness and in deeds of love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Lord God, through your Son, Jesus Christ, you made peace between the different peoples of this world. <clears throat> Take from us all cruelty towards one another, all prejudice, all apathy, all desire for the power and control, and fill our hearts with your love, <clears throat> that we may see in one another the image of your glory, that through serving others, we may come to imitate the one who came not to be served, but to serve, even Jesus Christ. Our Lord. Amen. It's time I invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings.
for you. Hear our prayer. Oh my God. Father of all mercies, we are on our service to you, my humble Christ. For all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made, we bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness for your mercy that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your friends, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking with you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen.